Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the top 5 best 3D printers in 2025. We made this list based on our own opinions, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and values when narrowing down the best choices possible. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top 5 best 3D printers. The fifth product on our list is Creality Ender 3V3 SE. The Creality Ender 3V3 SE 3D printer is another Cartesian printer that has benefited from the manufacturer's move to fast core XY designs. All the advanced features of the previous generation of bed slingers, such as auto bed leveling, are now appearing on this cheap entry-level machine. There may be a few extras missing, such as the absence of a touchscreen, filament runout sensor, or camera, which might be a drawback for some. However, as this printer is from the Creality product line, there's always the option to accessorize it as your budget allows, with the filament runout sensor being a must. Overall, I found the Ender 3 V3 SE stands out for its exceptional value, ease of use, print quality and reliability, making it the best budget 3D printer for those venturing into 3D printing or seeking a cost-effective yet competent machine. Up next in fourth place is the Anycubic Cobra S1. The Anycubic S1 is one of a new wave of 3D printers that is changing the industry and also redefining what I have come to expect from a standard 3D printer. Firstly, the technology and design have suddenly changed, with the old Cartesian bedslinger designs being sidelined for more advanced and ultimately better machines. Through my tests, I found the Anycubic S1, with its slightly smaller, fully enclosed design, made it easier to position and handle in the workshop. While the design might not be quite as elegant as some of the other Core XY 3D printers, when it comes to absolute accuracy, the S1 really stands out. It, the test it was the first 3D printer to score 30 out of 30 in the print quality test, with everything from dimensional accuracy to bridging and overhangs all easily within its abilities. While the build area may be smaller than some, that didn't hold back the function of this superb 3D printer and is an ideal choice if you're looking for precision 3D printing excellence. The third product on our list is the Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo. The Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo is an exceptional multi-filament 3D printer and is one of a new wave of affordable, high-performance machines that I am seeing. While the design resembles a traditional bed slinger, the solid metal frame has been designed to reduce vibrations and enhance print quality. The addition of the Anycubic Ace Pro multi-filament box in the combo version of the printer that I looked at in the review enabled up to four filaments to be used at any one time, making it an ideal choice for beginners as well as those looking for a multi-filament upgrade on a budget. The Cobra 3, like previous Cobra machines, is easy to use from the outset, with a straightforward setup process that took me less than 10 minutes to get ready to print. The large touchscreen monitor and updated interface are easy to navigate and offer a big improvement over previous Anycubic designs. As I'd expect, there's an automatic bed leveling system, auto filament runout, and a host of other advanced print features. Despite its many strengths, the Cobra 3 combo has a few drawbacks. The lack of an excess filament tray, which is common with this design and the slower speed of multi-filament printing compared to single-filament models. Additionally, the open frame design limits how suitable this printer is for some locations, such as education, as well as printing some advanced materials. Overall, the Anycubic Cobra 3 combo offers outstanding value and performance, making it the best multi-filament 3D printer for beginners. The second product on our list is the Creality K1C. The Creality K1C has been around for a while now, and its high performance, reliability, and ability to handle specialized materials like carbon fiber filaments make it a great choice. The printer is one of the most robust 3D printers I have used due to the strength of the construction. Coupled with the AI technology, it helps to ensure usability, especially in the hands of students. The K1C features a powerful cooling system that enables the fully enclosed design to print with common materials such as PLA, 
and also helps to keep fingers out while printing and keeping fumes in. The Direct Drive Clog-Free Extruder and Unicorn Tri-Metal Nozzle all help to ensure consistent and high-quality prints, even with abrasive materials. The fully enclosed design, flexible PEI build plate, and hands-free auto-leveling system make setup and operation straightforward, which is exactly what you need in the classroom. Reliability is enhanced by the integrated AI camera that provides real-time print monitoring, time-lapse recording, and failure detection. Despite its many strengths, I have found that the K1C has a few minor drawbacks. The print quality can be slightly affected by the high speeds, and it lacks multi-filament support. For that feature, you'll need an upgrade to the Creality K2+. In my experience, the Creality K1C is a superb 3D printer that combines advanced features, robust build quality, and excellent material handling. It is an ideal choice for serious 3D printing enthusiasts, schools, colleges, and universities. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out the description below for the newest deals on each of these items, and be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best products on the market. Finally, our top product title name is the Bamboo Lab A1. Having tested all the latest mainstream 3D printers, I feel the one with the widest appeal has to be the Bamboo Lab A1. The fact that this open frame design is relatively small and will fit on a desktop instantly fits the needs of most prospective buyers that I talk to. Still, then it can also be packed away easily with the AMS Lite, making it a great choice over some of the larger, fully enclosed designs. When I looked through the feature set, I noticed that it also compares directly with more expensive models, especially when it comes to the speed and quality of the prints. It also utilizes the Automatic Material System Lite, AMS Lite, which enables up to four colors to be used within prints at any one time. The A1 essentially makes advanced 3D printing easy and packs in every feature that I've come to expect from mid to high-end machines such as a tool head acceleration speed of 10,000 mm per second, pressure advanced technology, and a direct drive extruder. That said, the technology is tried and tested, and the A1 is highly refined and, of course, has the standard auto bed leveling and filament runout sensors, alongside wide material compatibility that makes this a highly versatile 3D printer. In my experience, while there are more advanced, larger multi-filament machines out there when it comes to refined reliability and print quality, the A1 is not only part of the family of printers that disrupted the 3D print industry, but also just a great choice for all user levels. That's all for our list of the five best 3D printers on the market. Head over to the description below for links to more detailed info on each of the products. And remember to leave a comment to let us know your opinion. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you guys in the next video.